Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. A duck walked into the bar and opened, ordered a bunch of stuff. The bartender's like, well, how the heck are you going to pay for that? And he's like, oh, don't worry, just put it on my, my bill. bill. <laughs> <laughs> also, hi guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All. We're, oh, yeah. we're, we're continuing the We're continuing at the big cliffhanger. <laughs> Hope you guys are excited. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Oh, just a little bit of a problem. Where was the witness when the murder took place? She was in the sauna! No. <laughs> she was in the channeling chamber. Oh yeah. <laughs> Plot twist, she was off the map. <laughs> off the map! <laughs> she was here. Phoenix, did you turn the map upside down? Ow! She slapped me on the wrist! At least it wasn't the face. There's no way she could have committed the crime from there. Ahem, <laughs> you two. Keep disrupting this court and this trial is over. Is that clear? Y yes, your honor. Sorry. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Miss Miney was here, of course. What? But, but that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime. Well, she seems calm and collected about it. Order, order, order! That's why that is... Oh! Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the channeling chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eeny Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? This is where it gets a little tricky. I think that she was... Okay. I need- uh, I wish I could see- The evidence. Evidence. I think she was hiding in the box when it got shot and when the screen got shot. The question is, is she here or there? Is she here or yeah, there? Yeah, or there. Let's try them both. I think, at least. Miss Miney was hiding here. Ow! If you're going to tell a joke, at least make one I'll laugh at. Okay, a duck went to the bar and he ordered a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> huh, go home, boy, and look what hiding means. Let's uh, make a pizza, pizza pie! <laughs> <laughs> ah, it looks like I'm going to have to one-up her. Yeah, count on it. Phoenix, you can't lose your cool like this. And grow up. Eh? Oh, I'm sorry, Chief. You still haven't learned your lesson, have you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? All right. Yeah, you were right. It's behind the folding screen. Okay. Because the bullet holes line up here, of course. But behind the folding screen? Ah! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. See, you stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slime ball. Holy cow. She, yeah, she looks really creepy here. Ugh. It's her eyes. No, no, Miss Miney. One as young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps! As if you know exactly how old I am. <laughs> You're stretching the dough too much. You're not gonna get good pizza that way. It actually is pizza dough. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Looks like, Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. <laughs> With the help of my attorney's back. Um, no, it would be With the, the help of the folding screen. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and use that to hide. And you should hide in shame until you die. Ah, wow, Von Karma, that was completely uncalled for. What's with these two? It's like they did a mind meld all of a sudden. Don't let them affect you. Just think about the correct answer. What's wrong, boy? Come on, say something, you loser. No, no, Miss Mighty. <laughs> Yep, you're right. It's the box! Miss Miney, how you were able to hide at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah! It's th that tiny little box? No person could fit in that! This is basically evil pen. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. 
Wada disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um... But that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That's right! I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm, Mr. Wright? Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? No, I can't. Yes, I can move some evidence. <laughs> you know Pretty I'm picking the stupid one. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to prove. Um, I guess by that look there is a way to prove it? You look in the court record. Guess I should take a look at the court record. Well then, if there are... P please wait. I said it was hard, but I didn't say it was impossible to prove. Then stop puffing up your feathers and hurry up. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Oh yeah. Bullet hole inside. Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. Th this what on earth? I don't have the time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. The, there's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen. It had a hole about the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. If we went through, it went through the screen and then into the box. <laughs> Miss Miney, you are hiding behind the folding screen waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. <laughs> order, order! So what you are saying? Then, then Mr. Phoenix right. What about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eenie Miney? That is exactly what I am saying. Miss Eenie Miney, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. T to masquerade as Maya Fey? She had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. No. Stop! I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness! If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the, cr the scene of the crime... It's not possible for one person to do all that by herself! Correct, it's not possible. No, it is possible. Correct, it's not possible. Yeah, it's... yeah, because she had an accomplice. I'm sure it's possible if you were to try. Ow! I don't want to hear if. If you're going to give me an if, then give me some proof along with it. Where did Eenie Miney get the costume then? How about the wig? Uh, I wasn't talking about that exact point. I meant people, humans. If we want to do something bad enough, then... That's enough. Beyond simply proposing that it is possible for one person to commit this crime, it is the duty of a lawyer to back up his or her claims. Well, yeah, it's your duty. If you can't do that, then your proposal falls flat. Yeah, it totally falls flat. Why, why do you have to hurt me so? It's all right, Phoenix. Huh? It isn't possible for one person to commit this crime, but... Ah, that's, that's right. It really is impossible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ow! Need I remind you, that foolish received no mercy. W wait Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? You can't be serious. <sighs> Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. And it was Dr. Gray himself! <laughs> that would be hysterical. I just want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. The accomplice was... Any thoughts, Miss Von Karma? I don't even want to waste the energy to raise my whip. His lady friend can deal with him. Really, Phoenix? 
You even got Miss Von Karma to give up on you, too. Two? As in me, too. Uh oh. Okay, I'll think more carefully this time. Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. Uh, <laughs> Ugh, this person! If it wasn't someone from Curran Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Faye household, you wouldn't have had that box to use. Morgan! Faye! Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? Yeah. <sighs> you shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then, the channeling started. The murderer crept silently toward the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with the knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. Thank goodness that that didn't hit Maya. Yep. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... After that, you and the other lady fought to break into the room? Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. And pretended to be Maya Fey. But! That sort of deception would have been easy to see through! Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Please, leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry! Before there are more victims here! What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. <laughs> Who is that? Laughing at a time like this? Eric! Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry, are you still by chance evolving? Well, what is it this time? M miss Von Karma? Surely! Of course it was me. I didn't think it would be you. Did you really think someone of the Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What in the world?! Mr. Phoenix Wright, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. Somehow. And that is? If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on the whole act. What reason would she have to go through such foolish things? Foolish. Eh? Not foolish. Well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eenie Miney want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Of everything. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say, too. Yeah, motive! I don't have a motive! Uh, motive. That's... I can't ch say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is her reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? She killed her sister, and then... Oh, she looks normal now. Yeah. Reason you wanted to kill Dr. Gray is this! <laughs> no. Ho-hum, ho-hum. 
Is this a word search? I'm having a tough time finding the word motive. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty witty one line. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my breathing is becoming labored. My eyesight is failing me. Makes you not want to get old, doesn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Ah! I've got to take my time and think carefully about this. Phoenix, think back. What kind of axe would Eni have to grind with Dr. Gray? There's only one reason, right? Only one? Uh, motive that's doggone it? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know the exact evidence, but, I mean, he more or less killed her sister. And also... So that would be this? Yeah. Also, Eeny Miny apparently was so injured that they had to put back together her face, so... Yeah, so that would be caught. the second newspaper clipping. Ha! Huh. Just as I thought, you bore me with your silly answers, Phil Phoenix Wright. Phyllis Wright. Phyllis Wright. <laughs> <laughs> I would not play that spinoff game. <laughs> Just Gray. Now even she is calling me by my full name. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes. You would be wrong. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you wanted to say I wanted to get take revenge based on nothing? Well, what do you mean by that? See not stupid gramps. I'm, like, going to explain, so, like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I, like, wanted revenge, then I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and sides, like, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was, like, Dr. Gray. It was, like, a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She... she's back to her airhead self. H however, you see... Ouch! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. The end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Miney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. Tisk tisk. So many flots and flots. <laughs> what am I saying? So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should really learn your place. I think Yerk. I was thinking, and then I said thoughts. Yeah. And uh, I, I do that all the time. I see a word, and I try to say two different yeah. words at the same time, and it comes yeah. out garbled. W what happened? I thought I had her for sure. <laughs> see, like, that's what I, like, told you. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. Very well, I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Miney. Well, great. Hold it! Someone's holding it. <laughs> Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. Alright. Really? That's all it took? <laughs> Sweet! You can't lose. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes. It does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. R really Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please? If you want to say that you can prove Miss Miney had a motive, then, why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Well, that's stupid. Okay, but literally, <laughs> we, in the last Von Karma case, we had to fight tooth and nail to get three more minutes. <laughs> yeah, let that's alone, true. Let alone all these things, it's just like, can we have another minute? Oh, sure, why It's not? because it's Mia asking, and the judge is Mia -like. more lenient towards- Everyone humans. likes Mia. Cody liked Mia, the judge likes Mia. Red White did not like Mia. Okay, but Phoenix likes Mia. Well, and sure. Everybody likes what's, Mia. What's not to like? Yeah, she's great. <laughs> Enchanted. Oh, I can I'm not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. 
That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. Oh, <laughs> he does this every night for wit. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. <laughs> Too bad, you're too late. My cross-examination has already ended after all. Look! Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, even though I really shouldn't, and this would totally make me lose the case, Mr. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. What? You're supposed to be on my side! <laughs> a Von Karma only cares about the perfect win. I, I gotta appreciate- Okay, Von Karma's a terrible person and is whipping, like, everyone, but she is whipping everyone! everyone? Except Morgan Fay. She was the only one who has not gotten Morgan whipped. Morgan Fay and also- You do not whip Morgan Fay. She will whip you right back. <laughs> she also hasn't whipped Mia. That's true. Mia would probably just, like- Whip her back. Probably, like, steal her whip and whip her yeah. back. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Ray. You're cocky. And I don't care if you are my witness. So help me, I will blow you out of the way. No way! Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. Really? We will continue the cross examination after we reconvene. Hey! hey wait a second, I. <laughs> wait, I don't think there's that much of the trial left. I think there's only. Oh well. We're going forward. Maybe we'll make it three episodes for the trial, if this goes on for super long. Okay. June 22nd, 12.04pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby number three. Is it really true about my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Annie could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your Aunt Morgan. That... that's terrible! Why... why would my aunt... Everything is going just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix, right? Hey! Haven't seen you out here! <laughs> ah! Miss Von Karma! What are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Well, he kinda did, but... Yes, he did! But... Completely... Von Karma Sr. totally dug his own grave. He did. <laughs> Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say, your own situation? Ugh down on me even though we're the same age are you done yet you cost me enough pain and suffering i kind of like her profile though <laughs> she's got like the uh, sassy hip thing yeah, going <laughs> yeah but she i don't know she also looks like she just jumped out of like a card game <laughs> what <laughs> like it's her outfit you know how like there's like the joker and the queen also a little bit of alice in wonderland in there i, think it's the I, I guess sleeves. Right. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you, and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. <laughs> Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. It'll be us! Oh! Plot twist, we don't win. win. That would be so bad. <laughs> June 22nd, 12, 10 p.m. District Court, court member 2. Well, we know that can't happen because first case happens after this and Maya was fine. Yeah. So. Well, or either that or like Edgeworth came back from the dead if he's dead and then pardoned her. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> court will now reconvene. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Can you prove Miss Eeny Miney had a motive? Yes. Yes, I believe I can. Eeny Miney and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. And that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Miney, please testify to this court about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask me about my motive. I, like, don't see the point in bringing up the past. Miss Miney, if you please. Okay, okay. Like, I totally don't think it'll do any good, but... It'll do everything good! Witness testimony of last year's accident. That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad had happened at my sister's clinic around then. And then, the night of the accident, my sister was totally tired while she was driving. Okay, yeah, there's... Okay. I was, like, totally pooped, too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. 
What were you gonna say? I was gonna say there's one testimony after this, I and then like, that's it. I woke up because of the jolt, and then there was a sea of flames around me. I like opened the door and like got away. That's like exactly what she said in her interview as yeah. well. Hmm, I think I've heard of this incident. It was all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. <laughs> Those were merely rumors. Totally baseless gossip. Hmm, yes. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did in fact drug Miss Meany Miney's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work for this from another angle. Thank <laughs> you.